Hey guys, this is Oldman Gaming. This is going to be another Raid Shadow Legends video. So today's video is going to be about the Scarab King. You know, one of the hardest bosses to beat in the Doom Tower. And you know, this is the first one when, when the Doom Tower came out. This was the one that gave people most trouble, you know. You have to bring some sort of like blood shield accessories or you have to bring somebody that does shield for yourself maybe some perimeter control you know there's different other ways of dealing with this boss but during the time now which it's been quite like you know a year or almost two years since uh we had the, i think it's a year don't even remember when this one came out but it's been quite a while since the doom tower came out and we found more and more uh ways of actually beating this boss and one of the most efficient ways and the easiest ways to actually deal with this one is to use something that we get from the Doom Tower itself, and that is using Euros the Soul Cage. Let's have a look quickly at at Euros's kit. This is, uh, if I remember correctly, he's the second legendary. We get Thea, and then we get him. So let's have a look quickly at his kit. So on his A1, he attacks one enemy, then places a shield on himself equal to a percentage of his HP. The shield also increases in value depending on how many poisons there are on the enemy. A2 he does A we can do depending on like you know this is lots to read this is not something that really helps us for the sake of this kit but you know if there's the more poisons there are out there the more things he can do with his A2 on the A3 he brings A we strengthen and ally protection which you know in a niche sort of situation you could use this for the sake of like I don't know maybe the Demon Lord clan boss or maybe even Hydra you know depends who else you have or how desperate you are but I guess maybe not really but when it comes to him it's all about not about his aura but even this one could be helpful if you want to try something else but it's all about this passive so the passive says like this whenever attacked has a 50% chance of placing a 5% poison debuff on the attacker for two turns when it's booked it's 75% chance so you know that's a pretty high chance if you give him masteries with sniper that's an 80% chance you know then the next one is like whenever an ally's attack while under strength and has a 50% chance of place a provoke on the attacker. This one you don't really care for the sake of Scarab. But you also care about this one. Increases this champion's max HP by 5% whenever an enemy receives damage from a poison debuff placed by this champion. So he places the poisons and whenever the boss receives poisons, he keeps increasing his max HP by 5%. He already has a 24,000 base. So that's pretty huge. So... Basically, this one works over uh, increasing the total of your HP. Not the base, but the total that you have. So you can end up having a crazy amount of, of HP. <clears throat> also, say whenever an enemy receives damage from poison debuff places, the champion also decreases their max HP by 5%. This one doesn't really work that much, as it says here, cannot decrease a single target, a uh, single champion's max HP by more than 25% in one battle, will not decrease boss's max HP. So basically, this one will not work against uh, the Scarab King, but work in other content. Also, cannot increase the champion's max HP by more than 50%. More than 15% you're not gonna need it, because it's a lot. It's a lot, and you know, his max HP actually gets to be to a huge amount. So, what I'm going to do is, let me show you quickly what what presets I have on him and then I'm gonna run the I'm gonna run the video and I'm gonna let you watch it. I'm also using like Versa for the sake of the aura, some people to kill the waves like you know Ghost Born and Tranda and then when it comes to him, I just have this one locked because I don't want him to do buffs. He's not gonna do the A2, so he's basically just doing the A1. Nothing too crazy, it's pretty simple. So I'm gonna let this uh this run go, then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna show you how this actually works. So see you in a bit guys.
and we are back guys so look at this it did take me like you know four minutes 42 my best time is somewhere around like four minutes but this was pretty easy as you saw you just need to get to Eurost, uh to the boss with Eurost, and that's it that's the whole thing all the damage comes from poisons and you know what's so amazing about this one let me actually show you the build and let me show you something really interesting because you know you might be like okay this is a little bit slow for, uh, compared to other stuff that I've seen yes but let me show you this I have no masteries imagine if I add some more masteries he moves really slow he does most of his damage from poisons but if I had masteries I could also add sniper that increases the chances of placing poisons and at the same time, I could add Master Hexer that, that gives us a chance of extending all the poisons that he, he places. So the 30% chance is pretty high when you think about how many poisons, poisons were actually placed down there. Then at the same time, you could I could even go down the offense tree and get War Master on him. So whenever he does go and attack, he do does those War Master procs which kills the boss faster and faster. So basically, I guess at the end of the day, this is showing that it can actually be done without the masteries in case, you know, maybe you don't want to use it for anything else and you do not want to, I don't know, waste 600 uh, gems to farm his masteries or buy his masteries and you just want to be like, you know what, let me be as efficient as possible, use it without masteries, but what's the build? Well, the build, let's have a look. I have him in a region and in an immortal set and no other special accessories over here. Let me move myself again. The stats that I have on him are 100, 100,000 HP, you know, lots of HP because that's what you care most, mostly about. And 3.2k defense, no speed, as you can see, uh, like just 10 extra speed from the, from artifacts. As low speed as possible, don't care about any speed. The whole idea of this concept with you, Rust, is he has to be hit himself and the boss has to have as many turns as possible and you, Rust himself has as little turns as possible. So the things that you care about in this type of build is having around 350 accuracy so that you can land his debuffs and as much HP as possible. That's it. You don't care about defense, you don't care about anything else, you, you care about 350 accuracy and as much HP as possible in a region set plus immortal. If you have masteries on him, you might even be able to get away without having the immortal as well. I just put, you know, I just put region as, and immortal on him. And it is what it is, and it helped me out. Also, I'm, I'm running the Vorsolf as a lead, but you can run anybody else that brings you an HP aura. Because, like I said, it's all about his passive, about placing poisons and increasing his max HP for as much as possible. If you're if you're paying it, if you were paying attention on the heals that he was actually doing, whenever he had the region proc, he was healing for like 20, 25,000 HP. So. His HP barely went low at, you know, uh, during the fight. Like, he, he barely lost a little bit, then he was full again. So, at the end of the day, this is something that's pretty easy. If, you know, you don't want to stress yourself or you do not want to lock other people for the sake of that content, just build yourself a new Rust, have him solo that, and you're good to go. That's that's the way that I'm doing it. I used to have Tomb Lord, I used to have a team with Blood Shields and other stuff, but now I just straight up have Euros build for the sake of that, as I'm not using him in anything else, and, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm using him and that's about it. Every rotation. Doesn't matter if it's the first rotation or is the third rotation. It works the same. But this is going to be it for the video today, guys. Thank you for watching. I hope this is helpful for you. And if it's helpful, don't forget to subscribe and like this video. And I'm going to see you in the next one. Peace, love, take care, everyone. Bye, guys.